Warner Brothers receives criticism for patenting Shadow of Mordor's Nemesis system. So do you know what the Nemesis system is? So from what I understand, uh, the Nemesis system was incorporated in the first one, Shadow of Mordor, yeah, Shadow of Mordor, obviously. And it's about how you will fight an enemy and the enemy, if you defeat them, that they will come back later and recall the event where they where they lost, and they'll expound on that. Or if you fight an enemy and you lose, they'll go ahead and de- like they memorize or they remember, they recall the events that you have, and they're all off the fly as to how you progress in the game, whether you defeat or are defeated in turn. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It's essentially. It's a system where the game remembers the player's actions and then uses it ag- the the enemies use it against you. Yes. That's essentially what it is. So I like it because I like 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 I don't know if you're like like the, there's like a lot of um supercuts mm-hmm. where they'll show like an orc and I think some of them have like cockney accents. It's like, "Oi, I remember when you cut <laughs> off me arm." <laughs> <laughs> you're not gonna be lucky today <laughs> yeah some stupid stuff like that yeah but anyways it's, cool. it's, it's great it, yeah it's a lot of fun shadow mordor is a fantastic game i haven't played shadow of war yet because i heard it was kind of but i believe it also has the, i believe it also has the nemesis system in it as well correct yes yeah um but so here's the problem with this they they patented it in a broad way so let me see what it says The patent covers a system featuring procedurally generated NPCs that exists in a um, hierarchy. Hierarchy. Hierarchy, I always say that wrong. And interact with and will remember the actions of the player. Any such system is now effectively the property of Warner Brothers Interactive. So lots of games do this. Lots of games do this. They do it in a different way, but lots of games make the enemy interact with the player, right? Yeah, I don't understand how you could patent a dynamic system where the game recalls your actions and then reacts accordingly. Exactly. Like, that doesn't make much sense to me. I mean, if if that's the case, then <laughs> how about story-based video games where your, your uh, actions or your choices dictate how the game progresses? Something like Telltale's The Walking Dead or even... Most recently, Mass Effect's, uh, you know, the Legendary Edition. Yeah, you know, it makes you, no you, sense. Like you had, you had choices that would affect how future events would unfold. Yeah, like, what if Microsoft tried to um, uh, patent procedurally generated worlds? Do you know what I mean? Like, that's a that's a very complex uh, technology, right? Yes. But should they be allowed to patent it? Hell no. Because other other games have been using it and use it. So the Nemesis system, they patented it, but other other games use the same concept in a different way. So I think I just don't understand how to combat patents. Like think of I don't uh, either. the most recent game, Immortals. Yeah. Uh Phoenix Rising. Yes, right? that copies a lot of. Um, uh, well, no, 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 no. Not even in terms of the copying from like gameplay perspective, but in terms of naming. Like the reason why they changed their original name of Gods and Monsters was because it had monster in it, and Monster Energy Drink has a patent on oh, monster. So you can't even use the word monster I, in your title. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how that works. So. This is what I this is what I used to understand with gaming. You could copyright the story, you could copyright the art, you could copyright the characters, right? But a patent is different. A patent is like technology, right? Okay. So if they're patenting um a so certain it was different. Yeah. Sorry. So, but here's also the other thing. How do they know you're implementing the code in the same way? unless they get your code base. So does that mean that like, let's say I wrote my own nemesis system, right? But I called it something else and the code worked a totally different way, but the outcome was very similar. And Warner Brothers saw it and they're like, hey, uh, we think you're using our nemesis system. I'm like, hey, how can I use your nemesis system? I don't have your code base. I had to write this code myself. 
So I don't think that would legally hold up in court because they would take me to court and then I would I would prove to them that my code is totally different than their code. You know what I mean? But that would require someone to not only in your specific um, example to be in that situation, but also have the funds and the time to duke it out in court with exactly. a larger corporation like Warner Brothers. And they might get a, they might try to get a reprieve from the judge saying you can't release your game until this is settled and they could keep you in court for years. Exactly. Which is BS. BS. Yeah. Um so let's let's read what this um this gentleman here Mike Bithel says Hey, I got you. Um, he's the uh, developer behind uh, John Wick Hex. I got yes. you that game for yep. Christmas. Yep. Did you Did you even play it? Not yet. No, not yet. I have. Of a... course. I'm, no, I'm pretty sure you're going to start it tomorrow. Yeah. No, I'm playing uh, Breath of the Wild right now. All right. Really? Yeah. All right. Ah, so... I'm, I'm proud of you for starting it up. Yeah. Uh, this says this is really gross, especially for a franchise that built. It's brilliant nemesis system on top of a whole heap of mechanics replicated from other games. As all games do, because that's how culture and creativity works. Be a better neighbor, Warner Brothers. <laughs> and I got to hey, no, say... I, yeah, that sounds like I, a really good sentiment. Yeah, That sounds like a reasonable argument against... They're using other games uh, systems... Why are they allowed to use other game systems? But then when they when they make something unique, they can say, no, 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 you, you guys can't use this. That seems very hypocritical. And honestly, I hope if they do ever, I hope they don't ever sue anyone. But if they do have the gall to sue someone, I hope the judge throws it out. Um, and then developers don't have to worry about this because it's a, it sucks, man. You might have a good idea and then this might scare you to not make your vision, you know? Yeah, like uh. Cockney-sounding orcs. <laughs> Oi, I saw, you, <laughs> I saw you lose to my brother last week. <laughs> Oi, you spit in my soup. I remember. It's <laughs> right. a terrible Cockney accent. I apologize. <laughs> uh, 